Look, JB, this shit got no safety. When we up at a dump, we go crazy. Nigga, throw he got shot. That's on bro. I'm a dental. He can't come to the. What's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do the gun muzzle flash effect that you just seen in the intro clip. And without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So the first kind of like, um, like muzzle flash effect we're going to do is just like the individual shots. And for that, uh, you're going to need two things. Uh, the first is this, this overlay that I've included. In the description, everything, all the materials are going to be in the description. And we're just going to put these two. They're going to be called something else. I'm going to call this one like single shot. And this one's going to be called like sound or something. And basically, you're going to want to add the single shot, make set the blending mode to add. Uh, you could take off the volume, you don't need it. And you're going to kind of find where like it appears and you can click on the asterisk button on your keyboard to like mark it. And you're going to want to find where you're, like the artist kind of like bends his finger to like click, click in the gun and line it up. You can scale it down to like cover the hand, set it there. And then if you double click L really fast while selecting the shot sound, you can kind of see it like the audio of it. You're going to want to line up the audio with the sound. And then right here on the second shot, in this frame right here, you're going to want to select both of them, duplicate the layers, and just drag them over. Reposition the gun thing, make, maybe make it a little bigger. This sounds closer. And it should look like this. And if you want, you can sort of add an effect. You can put an adjustment layer for each one. Make like the amplitude like two or something, frequency 15. Make it last like three frames or something. Just a quick shake. And then I'll do like one right here. I'll just play around with the shake, kind of. I don't know, it adds an effect to make it look like the gunshots like shaking the screen and look pretty cool. As you can see. And, um. It's a pretty versatile effect if you don't want to put too much effort into like other effects like roto brushing or masking or anything like that. Uh, and if the gunshots are too loud, if you select layer and press L once, you can like turn down the decibels to something like minus six. It sounds quieter. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do the first one. So for the second one, um, which is kind of like a like a machine gun kind of effect. We're gonna go to the start of the footage here, a project, and you can take the thing called auto flash and drag it onto your composition. Set it to add, and this one this one doesn't have much of a glow, so you can just kind of add your own. Right, increase the radius. I think it's going like something like that. Play with the intensity. You can make the color like orange a bit. Yeah. Here you might have to play with the scale a lot more. You might want to keyframe it as long with the position. And just kind of go for like frame every time it appears. Make sure it's like lined up with the hand. On the scale as you go. And, uh, and once you stop making like the the gun motion with his hand, you can like cut the layer. And you're also gonna want to add the, the Uzi sound effects layer and kind of drag it. You're you're gonna want to use this like sound map a lot, double click L. And drag it so that, like, on this last keyframe, 
It's like starting to fade out. And you can cut it at the end of that. And you're going to want to cut it here as well. Once, and then start at something like negative 15. Like 5 frames maybe, set it to 0. Come here to this last frame, set a keyframe, and go down here and set it to negative 15 again. Which looks like this. And if it's too loud, you can like change these middle keyframes to something like negative 8. Negative 8. And you can make the fade a bit like faster, fades in faster. Something like that. And again, if you want to add like an adjustment layer, add a shake to it, motion blur, just kind of put it on top. Make the amplitude a bit less, like 0.4. I'll keyframe the shake as well. Bring it there. Zero. And, uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the two kind of like basic effects. And you can kind of like make your own sort of effect depending on like what kind of clip you have, depending on what the artist is doing in the clip. And you know, you can play around the shake, the glow, you can add more stuff to it, like smoke, fire and stuff. But um, this is kind of like the, the basic the bread and butter groundwork for it. Uh, if you did enjoy, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.